Watson to join us via video Skype just briefly to give us a breakdown of an article I worked on with him this morning. Obama hit struggling Americans with energy rate hikes. This is a big deal dealing with Agenda 21. Uh, and, and then segue into Libya, uh, another article he did, NATO hands terrorist who killed U.S. troops control of Libya. Al-Qaeda gets new home as rebels seize Tripoli. I mean, now that they've pretty much taken over and uh, Gaddafi's scurrying around somewhere, uh, now it's just going to be an endless civil war, which is exactly what they want. Paul Watson. Well, that's right, Alex. And I mean, back in uh, on July 8th, I wrote an article and also I was on your show when Mike Adams was hosting it. Um, and the headline of the article was, U.S. wants Gaddafi toppled by September. Uh, the United States and France have set a deadline September 2nd to topple Lib Libyan leader Colonel Gaddafi. And basically, they were, at that time, they were saying to him, look, if you don't step down now, we're going to launch a massive bombardment of NATO. Um, and we're going to basically bomb you out of there. And that's exactly what happened on Saturday and Sunday. You had NATO jets, RAF fighters uh, bombarded Tripoli. Uh, and then the Al-Qaeda rebels can now storm in and uh, steal the 144 tons of gold and take over the country and basically turn it into an extremist backwater. Uh, Libya, of course, because Gaddafi had spent most of the oil money on, he'd reinvested it in the country. It was, they had one of the highest living standards in the region. Now that's all going to be eviscerated. And I mean, that's, what, that's why the middle class supported Gaddafi in the first place, because relatively in comparison to other countries in North Africa and the Middle East, it's a good standard of living for those people in Libya, in Tripoli, in the major cities. So now that's all eviscerated. You've got Obama and Cameron, you know, grandstanding at the glorious victory as if they commanded the, the army themselves. Um, and basically it's, it's going to turn into another quagmire once those extremists get control. It's going to turn into another Iraq and, of course, the irony, irony is that the very terrorists who killed U.S. troops in Iraq and Afghanistan, uh, the same al-Qaeda that was funded by MI5 in 1996 to assassinate Gaddafi, is now going to be firmly in control with globalist blessings in Libya. Well, again, you're anti-America, anti-England, that you don't support al-Qaeda. Would you like to apologize for not supporting the glorious al-Qaeda? Oh, I'm just... Still surprised that those um, people that rioted and looted in the UK a couple of weeks ago aren't the legitimate government because I, I thought that's how we do business now. I mean, they were called protesters. <laughs> Remember back in March, even as they seized military tanks and fighter jets, the media called them protesters for three weeks just to give the UN time enough to uh, craft this resolution, which they instantly violated, the no-fly zone, turned into a bombardment overnight, and then arming, training, funding the rebels, again violating their own resolution. And now we come to this Operation Mermaid Dawn Endgame, and of course... The establishment media is all joyous at these celebrations as if it's some organic uprising. There was a massive sustained bombardment on Saturday and Sunday night, some, you know, 1,300 people dead, 5,000 injured. And the media is treating it as if it's just some organic uprising. No way. Now, those happened. planes, bombs they were dropping, killing people, that was peace. Peace bombs from the peace laureate Barack Obama, who has more troops deployed than George W. Bush did at any time in his presidency. But what's wrong so, yeah. with you, Paul? I mean, working with al-Qaeda and bombing and killing civilians is peace. It's, it's kinetic action, exactly. Well, you're very, it, you're very evil. Uh, I mean, look, it, it's totally going to disintegrate into bedlam, which is order out of chaos. That's what they want. So now the rest of Africa will sink deeper into the murk. What about 